Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And today I'm going to be talking about what are differentials exactly. Okay, and I've produced a few videos in the past, but uh, this is going to be even more uh, convincing, more uh, uh, detailed and to the point. So let's begin. Now, the correct answer is that differentials are nothing more than symbolic names, okay, such as dy, dx, dt, dw, whatever, for the parts of the slope of a tangent line, which is also called a derivative. That is, it's just a ratio of finite differences. In other words, rise over run, okay? So dy over dx is equal to rise over run of the tangent line. In the new calculus, both the differentials and derivatives are very well defined. This is not the case in mainstream mathematics. So I will place a link to this article, but uh, no mainstream source will agree with all the other mainstream sources and the definitions. They've all got different ideas. So the most common mainstream misunderstanding is that it's a rate of change or an instantaneous rate of change like that profound idiot Gilbert Strang from MIT who has written textbooks that are full of garbage about this, okay? Or that it is a ratio of infinitesimals, uh, like that idiot Abraham Robinson who wrote the uh, mainstream book on non-standard analysis. Uh, infinitesimal doesn't exist as a well-formed object in any way. So the bordello of mainstream mathematics has invented many theories that include non-standard analysis and limit theory, uh, which of course is the most common approach, is very a very flawed me method because it is not only circular but founded on many uh, false beliefs. Okay, so had the so-called fathers of calculus known about my historic geometric theorem, which you see in front of you and described in this blue link here. The mainstream derivative would have been defined as follows, in which case uh, f prime of x is equal to dy over dx, okay, meaning that dy is either equal or proportional to this finite difference, and that dx is equal to or in proportion to h, which is the finite difference of the x coordinates, okay. Nothing about rates of change, nothing about change in y over change in x, because change in y and change in x is a load of crap. Nothing like that ever occurs. Uh, it hasn't changed in the past, in past perpetuity, and it's not about to change now either. So unfortunately, no one was intelligent enough, as I am, to understand these things. They resorted to gibberish, such as instantaneous rates of change, infinitesimals, uh, ratios of uh, differentials, etc. So in reality, differentials are just finite differences. And the dismal failure of mainstream academics resulted in this ubiquitous garbage that you find in many textbooks and that I have debunked in this very fine short article called The Calculus Scam of the Last Four Centuries. Okay. And not only did it affect the differential calculus of the mainstream, but also the mainstream calculus, okay? Because this, uh, this historic theorem that I discovered leads to a better formulation, this historic theorem, in, of mainstream calculus. It's not the new calculus, but it leads to a better formulation and more solid and more understandable because it's not uh, dependent on beliefs and axioms and nonsense. Okay, so um, no mainstream academic is brave enough to admit error because, you know, I mean, they're just cowards. And it, it, it doesn't take a genius like me or even one good at mathematics to realize that there's something terribly wrong when claims such as the following are made in mainstream uh, by, by well-known mainstream mathematics academics. So here's a link to... Uh, a university site where this article has been posted. It's uh, an article that has been written by Hilary Sheward and Hugh Neal. Okay, so what they say in their article is that, or in their book rather, that dy dx must at least for some considerable time be regarded as an inseparable whole, just as delta x is. It does not in any simple or straightforward way 
mean anything like dy divided by dx, and a statement such as uh, dy over dx multiplied by dx over dt is equal to dy over dt by cancelling dx is just so much gibberish. My word. Now, I've tried to imitate a British accent, probably not very successful. But in any case, some questions which come to mind immediately is exactly how much time should dy over dx be regarded as an inseparable whole? I mean, what absolute bullshit? Can you believe this? This, this is how mainstream academics see these things. If indeed dy dx is not a fraction or a ratio of differentially expressed as numbers, what the fuck can it be? What kind of object can it be? It makes me angry to read these things. These are the kind of things, Professor Jack Hazinger, that make my eyes bleed. Not your eyes bleed, you fucking moron. You coward. What kind of object can it be? If the DX are not cancelled, do they magically disappear? Oh, it makes my blood boil to read such utter garbage. It turns out that the entire paragraph is gibberish. But the authors make this claim. But before the authors make this claim, the following comes before it. The student has to learn that, has to learn, or, or is it believe, believe or memorize, in spite of all the evidence to the contrary, which seems to him to build up from statements such as the one that you see here, that dy over dx is not a symbol for a fraction, but for the limit of the gradient of a chord. Oh my word. For anyone with a modicum of intelligence, it would hurt one's ears to listen to these fucking clowns. The part about limit is completely debunked in my article at this link. Okay, It uncovers all the misguided belief. You know what these... these uh, prima donnas have actually done, they've actually shot themselves not only in the foot but in the eye and in the brain because what they're actually saying with their mainstream definition by the way is that the limit of a constant of any constant is zero. The limit of this here turns out to be the same as the limit of a, a constant which in their, their opinion must be zero. So what they do is they take the limit of this and then they leave the slope constant but they decide that this portion here, which can only be zero in the case of a straight line, disappears. It magically disappears using the theory of limits. And not only are their epsilon delta proofs so laughable and ridiculous, but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but you need to have a solid grounding of uh, other bullshit, such as Dedekind cuts and Cauchy sequences somehow defining real numbers, you know, uh, so, so most of their mathematics is not really mathematics, it's belief in absolute rubbish, okay? It's not, it's not a coincidence. There is no such thing as a human that cannot do mathematics. Do you understand me? Every human being is capable of understanding mathematics. The only thing that a human doesn't understand are ill-formed concepts. So when you talk rubbish to students and you pollute their minds, with such absolute shit like this, dx must at least for some considerable time be regarded as an inseparable whole. Uh, you know, uh, these academics sh should be shot. Uh, 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 seriously, I mean, they shouldn't even be allowed anywhere near a learning institution. Okay, but somehow these, these are the academics who uh, get to sit on able prize committees like that horrible man, uh, Gilbert Strang and award able prizes to their colleagues, okay? These are the people who are polluting, uh, who are making so many students drop out of STEM courses, believing that they are not good at mathematics, breaking down their confidence completely, uh, turning them away from engineering or architecture or anything that profits and benefits a human race, dumbing down the majority of people in the world. This is how it is, people. I'm not. I'm not uh, exaggerating. I'm not uh, uh, going on hyperbole here. These things are fact. Okay. 
it's it's a shame that when you ask people if they like math, they turn around and they tell you, no, I don't like math because uh, I don't understand it. Well, how can they understand when the baboons or the high priests of modern academia are teaching them crap like this? Limit theory, infinitesimals. I, I mean, the blind cannot lead the blind. Okay, so look, I'm going to stop here. I'm actually a little worked up again because whenever I think of it, it makes my blood boil because they're calling me a crank, attributing mental diseases to me. And they are the ones who are actually very ill. Okay, they are the ones who need to be placed in an asylum, a mental asylum, uh, calling me things like crank, crackpot, uh, delusional, narcissist. I mean, I... I gave all my money away in 2007 intending to kill myself. A narcissist doesn't do that, okay? Don't believe anything you read about me on the internet. They're all jealous of me. They hate me, but not as much as I hate them. They're evil, evil, evil people, okay? And uh, for crying out loud, I am worked up. I, I shouldn't have gone on a rant like that. But anyway, listen. People don't believe me. Study what I'm telling you, okay? Study what I'm telling you and prove to yourself that what I'm telling you is true or false. That's all I'm going to say. Please, if you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber. Go to my channel. Uh, donate dollars on my Odyssey channel. And I'll try and come up with a better explanation for some other misguided concept in the mainstream in the not-too-distant future. My name is John Gabriel. This is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.